right good people i want us to look at this question one of a uh, uh, pssd which was written on the 5th december 2023 this is an a uh, uh, previous question paper now so i want us to look at question one so there is the question written for you so they are saying draw this one using a scale one to one you understand and these two views we have to uh, analyze them they are given in what in first orthographic projection so majority of students they used to be uh, 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 confused by this and that you understand they will be like is this part of of your front view or what? this line is now a dimension you understand this is a dimension they are telling you from here till here is that dimension you understand so this one is not part of the drawing so these two primary views are given in what in first angle orthograph of projection so so the question reads as follows figure one shows the front view of a a top a, a front view and the top view of a hot which is formed by an oblique half cone that is a, 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 that is uses a what a uh, it uses as a smoke cut draw this uh, according to a scale one is to one so the very first thing you have to draw the given view so, but when you go down there there are questions uh, 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 prepared for you so the very first thing that you have to draw draw the front view you'll be given what two marks you understand draw the top view you'll be given three marks you see that just to draw these two views eh? according to a scale drawn them according to orthographic projection again in five marks is already yours why am i saying uh, according to orthographic projection because these are supposed to be drawn according to this one so which means you cannot draw this two top view somewhere ever you 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 like and at the end of the day you expect to be given this five marks is wrong so you draw the top view under the what the front view you draw the the front view on top of what of the top view uh, so that's how we analyze views according to orthographic projection remember that if i put this cartesian plane so it now becomes this uh, becomes quadrants it's such it's such that i can say this is first quadrant this is second this is a uh, uh, 30 this is fourth you understand so you know according to auto a first angle orthographic projection we've got our left view somewhere there you understand so yeah we've got the line of uh, 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 of uh, 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 this line that is at an angle of what of 45 degrees you understand of orthographic projection to say so you must know that do not expect this uh, five view. I mean, uh, five uh, 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 marks just to come. Uh, you, you have to draw the top. You have to draw the the front according to what orthographic projection. You understand? So you know the space from here to here is twenty millimeter. We always space our views to twenty millimeter. Okay. So when you go down the one point three, they are saying draw the development of the pattern of the what of the uh, oblique cone. You'll be given now uh, how much? Fifteen marks. You understand so that's what we have to uh, do that's what you have to do because the uh, 1.4 they're saying max allocation for drawing office practice for the um, um, for the above question is as follows so accuracy is two marks and then any any three dimension is, is you understand so i uh, this was straightforward you understand this was straightforward because you can uh, uh, draw the front view two marks you draw the top view two marks and then you draw any uh, 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 three dimensions you see you already you see that about eight months is already on your pocket you understand out of 25 marks so let's start talk less and throw more okay one is to one so i am going to start with what with the, the top view Radius 10, so now I can put. So, where was I placing my compass? Somewhere there. Understand. So, going up, I can put what a faint line, which is which one? 
which is this center, this one, this center. Then I told you from here till there, because this one is now that one is 12 millimeter. 12, eh? There is a 12. Then where at your 12 put a vertical. And then a faint line. And then from over there, we can now go horizontally straight like this. And like that. Then from over there, we are told what now from here to there is Amar 36. 35 days out 35 36 is somewhere there then i mark it zero eh? then from there i can have another what center line so we are given the radius 36 okay now there's your zero 35 36 is this one eh? now you can replace it here then you start to draw dark from here till there. This is it. You switch one is this one. Eh? Simple. Eh? Now from here you just go straight. Straight horizontal. Straight horizontal. There we go. Like this we go. Okay. So from there. What is going to happen now because this is a hidden uh, this is a center line this one is the center line again you understand so now it looks like we are done with the top view then from there going up is 20 millimeter so we space our views to 20 millimeter now take the circumference of the cycle just faint like this I, I hope you can see my faint line so now without fear or favor from here to there i am going to have it what solid there you go you switch on is the bottom part of your art of your front view eh? is this one now from there till there so from here going up i can now get the the uh the what the the what to call the height so i told you from here till there is 48 millimeter so for eight the height this uh, 50 49 and 48 this is it then i give it what a mark somewhere there then like this we go then from there now i can have this one remember that this is correspond with this one isn't it then this one eh? this one will correspond with that one so somebody might be like we are not given a dimension uh, the true height uh, even though it's cut it there to apex point from here till there so remember this one must uh, correspond with this point then this one must correspond to, uh, with that one so now by having that once you have that, you are going to take this point going up, faint, eh? faint, then now you take your 30 millimeter ruler, you connect this one with that one, then further uh, 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 draw it up until it cut that vertical one right from your, that is coming from your uh, top view. So there it is now without fear or favor from here till the solid you want. So now there is the apex point coming out for itself you understand it's such that now i can have this one from here till there solid then here hidden to two to show what is now cut it isn't it so there it goes everyone so now we are going to take this center to your apex point as well the center there you go, there you go, there you go. Remember, it's not a hidden detail, but it's a center line. So again, you come here, there you go. Okay, so if you have drew it till such an extent, you're about five marks already in your pocket, you understand? 
okay so now what are we going going to do so uh this uh this part this part is your upper part which is that is that one so this one is the bottom part which is what which is this one you understand so now we are going to divide this into 12 equal part what this a uh, half a cycle even this one half a cycle so how take a play uh, your drawing compass you put it here to the center then you strike an arc here you strike an arc here you understand and then you come and put it here i'm trying to be fast strike an arc there this one is on it's not today isn't it last one come and put it here strike an arc there okay so now you project this point of yours towards your what to your center there you go There you go, faint for now. There you go. And like this you can go. Like this you can go. Faint, uh, uh, you can draw them faint. So what you did here, you can also do it there. So how, place your drawing compass from this point to the center. Strike an arc here, strike an arc there. Then you come here. Place it here to your center. This is it. Strike an arc here. And from here to the center, strike an arc there. So you can do the same thing. Faint. There you go. Like this you have. Like this we go. This we go okay then if we are now there what are we going to do we have to get our true length before we even uh, develop you understand so we have to get our true length before we even get our true length let's number our points so I, i'll decide to have a zero here and a one and a two and a three three four five five uh, six seven eight nine ten you understand so that's how uh, i am deciding to what to number this you understand so and again let's see are we given a, a what a, a a cutting plan are we given a cutting plan no, we seems to be not given a cutting plan but then the cutting plan we know what is supposed to be there x x is your joint so uh, since they are talking about the full development of the cone so we must be given the what the cutting plane the cutting plane has to be there you understand so let's put this cutting plane right there so now let's see uh, on the upper part so i'll decide to say uh, to have what an a b c d E F G to I okay so now what are we gonna do so I'll decide to make this line this uh, 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 a a a to what to what a strong solid line solid line so now I am going to have a line from here to there, from here till there, from here till there. This zigzag line from two to what to C, then from C to three. Understand some from three to to D, then D to four, and E to four is already there. Maybe one. So now again, from here, from A to what to ten. There you go. 
from 10 to I. There you go. Then I to 9. There you go. From 9 to H. There you go. From H to 8. Like this we go. Then from H to G. Like this we go. From G to 7. Like this we go. Okay. So then if we now have this. You are going to project these lines up, uh, this point, the numbering point up. So 1 and 10, they will be in the same line. So the 0 is there, and then the 1 is here, and the, the 10 is somewhere there. <coughs> Once it touch there, you're going to take it to your apex point fainter. There it goes. Once it gets there, we come to take 2 and 9, there it goes, once it gets here, this is 2 and 9, on the bottom part, you understand, so you go up to your apex point, so there it goes, from here, then so 3 and 8, they are already there, you understand, so now what is going to happen this side? So this one, they are already there, they are already there. You understand? Because this one, this is, is actually talking about the upper part. Was right from 3 to 4. Was 3, I can have the 3 here with what? With 8 there. And then 4 with what? With 5 and 7 with 6. They are, they are already in the same point and let me say 6 with seven they are already in the same point so the upper point here i've got an e and an f if i may uh, 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 dimension it so remember that this one is the center of what of the upper smaller circle you understand so which means the d is right there with the what with the g and there you go the C with an H they'll be labeled up now so I've got a C there with an H and a B with an I and A, which is this one, on its own. So now go to your apex point. In this one, to your apex point. Right. Then from there, let's get our true length. After the true length, then we what we, we develop then. Okay, this is what I have. Uh, now I want to look where I, I, must, I must plan where I am going to put my my true length so they normally be be, uh, uh, be drawn here but i can still draw my my length my true length way here so i am choosing so that i have what enough space for my development here you understand so i am going to have a line that's going to behave like this and like that from that apex point i'll say is my r of all the what of all the 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 points of my true lens that i'm about to get you understand even your your top view i mean your front view you must have some dark lines that they're gonna be like this okay but then let's move to the very much crucial important point so from there what are we gonna do so we are having the what i'm going to place my compass here from here till there then i come and place it here so this will be the height isn't it this would be the height then from there 